You're watching Good Day Columbus on Fox 28. They are the Eastern Conference champions. It wasn't done. We got one more game. Lower.com. I know our fans are going to be ready. It's going to be electric. But time and time again, Columbus Crew, no matter who they play, no matter where they play, they're always on the front foot. Tell them that like, the whole city is really behind us. Uh, it's something really special because Columbus, it's our, it's, it could be our third championship. I want us to be loud and absolutely win this game against LAFC because we are more than capable of lifting another cup at home. All right, we're excited for the Columbus Crew and their MLS Cup final today. And it's also Mascot Madness. We've got Stinger yeah. from the CBJ and his there friends from out of town. They're in studio this morning. We will tell you why coming up next. No doubt they're here as well, cheering for their buddy, the crew, Cat, and today. I think, and I think one of them drank my coffee. <laughs> right, exactly. Mm -hmm. One of them still has my right, phone over there. which one was, yeah. yeah. Follow Tom's Facebook yeah, or right, Instagram exactly. live. He still has his phone. <laughs> That's hysterical. I love it. <laughs> All right, good day. Columbus yes. started right now. Glad you are with us this morning on Saturday, December the 9th. I'm Tom Bosco. I'm Jack Yorosco. And I'm meteorologist Sarah Converse. Thanks for making us a part of your morning. See, we don't care if it's a gloomy day. We're all in good That's spirits right. today. We are in high, high spirits today. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Despite the weather, and that yes. is mostly because of the crew. We're all excited about yeah. that. And we're excited about uh, these mascots in the studio here. It's and I think a Sarah, nutty. you're going to have some help doing the weather today. Right. I don't know if Stinger's going to show up because he's green. Right, exactly. Oh, Let's just... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, your, your, your face, where's your face? You only see your eyes. He's oh, going to no. need some help. That's very funny. So, <laughs> yeah, we're looking at cloudy skies, even though you can't see where his hand's are pointing at. <laughs> like, there you some go. Of his <laughs> some of his uh, the sleeves there. So, again, Dublin is sitting at 52. Downtown is also 52. Grove City sitting at 50 degrees for this morning. Satellite and radar showing a lot of that rain exiting out of the area. Stormy would be a good person to be up here because we could potentially hear a rumble of thunder or two. So let's try to see maybe get Stormy quickly in here. We got stormy here on the forecast, but the good news is we'll see <laughs> we'll see rain eventually head our way as we head into the afternoon hour. So here's a look at your planner, Stormy. Can you help me out here? What's the point at 58? So at noon we'll be around 58 degrees, and as we get into the late afternoon hours, we'll top off right around 60 degrees. But you can see there. We got rain moving into the area, so stay with us. I'll time out when the rain will move in. A full check of your forecast coming up in just a few. The excitement all up in the air. The Columbus crew will be hosting LAFC at 4 o'clock this afternoon in the MLS Cup. It is the biggest match to ever grace Lower.com Field. Yeah, the club seeking their third MLS title. You remember they last won a title in 2020 at Historic Crew Stadium. All right, so how did we get here? Well, it was a complete turnaround from last season when the club missed the playoffs last week. The crew beat out FC Cincinnati 3-2 to in extra time to send them to their fourth finals in program history. All right, so we know Ohio State and college football, of course, are king in Central Ohio. Maybe you don't know a lot about football and the Columbus mm -hmm. crew. All right, so here's a little crew 101 for you so you can sound a bit smart when you're headed to an MLS Cup watch party this afternoon. Let's start with this. Why is there a 96 on the crest of the Columbus crew? That's because the team first played in 1996, two years after the MLS organized and granted Columbus a soccer team. We were the very first MLS franchise. Our black and gold can claim to be the oldest team in the league. And we built the first soccer-specific stadium in the country, what's now known as Historic Crew Stadium by the fairgrounds. So what the heck is the Nordeca? Well, it means north corner, and it's also the section of seats where a group of super fans sits. Well, they don't really sit. 
In fact, there are no seats in that section. We are loud. Uh, we are we are boisterous. Uh, we are the ones that are always, you know, on our feet 90 minutes. What was the Save the Crew movement and why did it need to be saved? In 2017, the previous owner of the team, Anthony Precourt, tried to move the crew to Austin, Texas. That sent the team's passionate supporters into a frenzy, fighting in court, at the State House, and more. The fans saved the crew by organizing, by drawing attention, by creating support, by doing all the things that we could to bring attention to the issue. The fans absolutely saved the crew. Ultimately, an ownership team made up in part by Cleveland Browns owners and team doctor Pete Edwards bought the team and kept it here. In the process, they got a brand new stadium built in the arena district. These are the fruits of the labor of the Save the Crew movement. But what kind of name is Lower.com Field? Lower.com is a mortgage company based in Columbus that bought the naming rights to the stadium. We don't know how much they bought it for, but rest assured, it likely wasn't cheap. And what's with the two stars above the logo on player jerseys? They represent the two MLS Cups. The Columbus crew has already won. Now it's time to add a third. All right, it will be a special moment for a Northeast Ohio guy. In particular, we're talking about crew midfielder Darlington Nagby. Missed that on the last time the crew played for the MLS Cup after testing positive for COVID before the match. He completed 95% of his passes in the crew's comeback win over Cincinnati and the Eastern Conference Finals. Nagby has been part of three MLS Cups in his 13-year career, and he believes this year's group can make club history. Yeah, 2020, I was watching the, the final at home in the backyard with my wife. Uh, definitely uh, challenging at first to watch, but I think the team came out and did a great job. My guy Aiden stepped in, had a tremendous game, and uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it this year. Now, Nagby says today is special for many reasons, including his son's birthday. His middle child is turning eight years old, and he told his dad that he wanted a trophy for his big day. And so many storylines for this championship match, both on, on both sides of the ball, that is. We talked with John Strong. He's calling the game for Fox Sports right here on Fox 28 at 4 p.m. He says the crew had a lot of personnel changes in the middle of the year. Lucas Zellerayan left. Others came in. But Strong says he likes how the crew responded. For Rossi to have come in, found a lot of success, now played against his former team, as is Christian Ramirez, who scored the winner the last two games. He used to play for LAFC. A lot of great storylines in this one. Necessary again, LAFC here with Vela. <laughs> and here's one reason LA is going to be particularly tough today. Carlos Vela, the star attacker for LA, could be playing in his last game for the team. His contract is set to expire on Sunday, so you know he's going to want to go out on top. All right, plenty of crew tickets still available for the match this afternoon, but, well, it's going to cost you a pretty penny. The lowest price, Ticketmaster is 329 bucks for a seat in Section 204, and the highest ticket, well, $4,000 in the players box and of course you can catch that crew match right here on Fox 28 it begins at 4 p.m. this afternoon and don't forget to follow Clay Hall and Kellyanne Stitz on X formerly Twitter for updates on the match and if you guys haven't noticed well the crew's <laughs> mascot of course look at that they just took over good day Columbus right, this absolutely. morning absolutely we have the crew cat. We've got some of his friends in studio this morning. Yeah, say hello to Stinger from the Columbus Blue Jackets oh, and friends. <laughs> they will be part of a mascot madness takeover tomorrow at the Jackets game at Nationwide Arena. You can find these mascots on the concourse what? at Nationwide oh Arena. We need those tissues. <laughs> before the game against it's, the Cowboys. It's flu season. <laughs> it's the Panthers. Let's do a quick little roll call of who's here. Of course, we have Stinger. Wave your hand, Stinger. There you go. Yep. We have got... Uh, NJ Devil from the New Jersey Devils. We've got Howler from the yep. uh, uh, from the Arizona Coyotes. Yeah, right. Of course. Exactly. Stanley C. Panther from the Florida Panthers. There. Yep. S. J. Sharkey from San Jose, which he took already a big bite out of my head. <laughs> yeah, so. and Stormy from uh, yep. the uh, Carolina Hurricanes. All right, yeah. I get everybody. I think yeah. I, we got everybody. Everybody. Right? Yeah. All right. Uh, they and we're also expecting Rosie Red at the uh, CBJ game tomorrow. All right, gang. Thanks for being here. Glad yes. you guys were here. All right. Thank excellent. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Say go crew. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh yes, look, that's right. So nice. They don't say anything. That's right. All right. Lots more coming great. up. <laughs> if you guys want to stick around, you guys can finish the newscast. Right, it's all we'll good. leave. You can take over. <laughs> oh, thank you, my French press. Thank you. So nice, Sarkey.
Ryan, we're taking you live inside Lower Dotcom Field, where the match will happen at 4 o'clock today. Coming up on Good Day Columbus, the exclusive lawnmower view with the cam cam coach, so you can see what it's like to prep this stadium for a championship game later today.